Today we're going to talk about solving equations that have fractions. As you can see my example here, we have 2 thirds x minus 1 half x equals negative 1 sixth x minus 2. Both the left side and the right side have equations. I mean, have equations with fractions. So, in previous videos, we've done the reciprocal, or we've used the L, the um, uh, we use LCM one time. Here, we're going to use the LCM least common multiple, and that LCM will help us really resolve or get rid of the fraction components. So what will happen? We see our denominators. We have 3, 2, and 6. Those three denominators, we need to find the smallest possible common multiple. Multiples, if you can remember, multiples mean three, like for three example. Three times one is three, times two is six, times three is nine. Those are called multiples, okay? We have for three, two, and six. We'll see what we find. I'm glad you didn't get the stuff I was printing. Boring circle. We would include two in that list, too. Now, we can see we have one I can see it's common. If I go down, I don't see any others, but if the list I kept going and going and going, I would see several common, common multiples, okay? But the smallest one I see, I have here is six. That becomes our least common multiple. So now we use that LCM multiply on the left and the right side of the equations to keep it balanced. When we do that, you will see the fractions all reduce or become whole numbers. I may I gotta fix something. Excuse me. It helps your attention to pay attention to what you're doing here. So let me continue.
let me check my work. I already saw one mistake. So we had six, we multiplied four different terms. Two on the left, two on the right. So we have six over one times two thirds x minus six over one times half x equals six over one times negative one sixth x minus six over one times two. It appears pretty good. So let's see what happens when we multiply the fractions. I think I'm going to use blue now. Two, three, six times one, two, six times one, six. Okay, so we have everything checks out. As you can see, after we multiplied with the 6 through the whole equation, we increased the equation, the coefficients and whatnot, by 6. It still means x will be the right answer because we worked on both sides. Okay, so we kept it balanced, we kept it right, but we raised everything by a factor of 6 to get rid of the fractions. So now we have 4x minus 3x equals negative 1x minus 12. Now we will we'll use our equation solving skills. We will have all the x terms on one side, the constant terms on the other side, and we'll solve our x. started to add the 1x and decided I need to simplify the one side first. After you simplify, then you work on moving or adding, subtracting variable terms or constant terms. Now you can see we have 2x equals negative 12. Now we have 2 times x. Opposite of 2 times would be 2 divide. So 2x divided by 2, remember I can't ignore the negative 12. I have to divide 2 over here as well. So so thus far we have x equals negative 6. That's my answer so far. I believe I'm right, but often I believe I'm right. I'm still wrong. So we have to check that. Now, maybe you're tempted to move ahead and check the negative six in the four x minus three x. That equation you have to go back to the original with the fractions. When you put it in, you solve it, and the both sides should be equal. So we'll take it step by step, okay?
see I replace where I saw x previously replaced with negative 6. What I'm saying is x, the variable, for that equation to become true, negative 6 is a proper value. So x, negative 6, here, there, there, three times. And my work is right so far, so we'll see what happens. Mm, it's purple now. Negative 12 over 3 minus 2 negatives relates to positive. So we have minus 1 half times negative 6. I'm going to change to plus 6 over 2. Now you see it. So notice that when I found the answer in blue, this is my answer so far. Once I checked it, x equals negative 6, I went through and found that both the left and the right become negative 1 and negative 1. Therefore, therefore, that's what it means, a dot, dot, dot. Therefore, x equals negative 6. That's my answer. Thank you.